I just I <laughs> my silly self would like literally talk to people like this all day. So hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, everything's great, you know? Look at that highlight. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do something completely different from what I'm used to, and I did a cool toned eyeshadow look. This is the look that I came up with using the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. I know I'm a little late. I wasn't sure I was gonna get it because I don't normally do cool tones, but I think I like how this turned out. Tell me what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this look. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. If you want to see how I got this look and if this palette is brown skin girl friendly or boy, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, so I started off with my brows already done because I realized I don't have a ColourPop brow product at all. So I just went ahead and I used my Benefit Cabrow. You've seen me use this before. I love this. I always feel like my brows come out super sculpted when I do them first, but I like how it looks in the end, so we'll go with it. I have a lot of ColourPop products and I'm gonna show you guys what I just recently picked up and then we'll go through i have pretty much a full face so i think this is going to be fun this is the box that came in so you see why i placed the order <laughs> sitting on top they had a sale with 25 percent off and this palette was included i missed out on the brush set i was going to pick that up but probably for the best because i don't need it but i picked up the stone cold fox palette which is my first cool tone palette so I'm excited to do this look because I never do cool tones. Everything is always warm reds or like super colorful. I also picked up the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Dark. Um, I've been liking cream products lately, so I just thought maybe that'll be a nice change up to see how that works. I picked up the brush that goes with it too. I don't know if I'm going to use it for that. Probably not because I don't need that much big brush on my face, but might be good for bronzing and then I also picked up the Mulan ColourPop collaboration I really just picked it up because it was on sale and I like the colors and I like eyeshadow we know this already so this is what that palette looks like it's a little bit warmer than the okay it's probably a lot warmer if I'm being honest than the Stone Cold Fox palette but I don't know some of these shades are warm I don't like these pressed glitter things I'll probably never use them but we'll see I don't know I'm not using it today but you will see it in another video soon and then I also picked up the BFF 3 liner uh, I thought that was gonna be like a darker brown this is what the pencil looks like and that is not as dark as I thought it was gonna be so I don't know if it's gonna be used today, but that's what the shade looks like there. I'm always on the hunt for like a, all my other browns are like really dark. And so I just wanted something that was gonna be a little lighter to help when I'm doing a lighter nude. We're gonna start with the eyes today because I don't know how this palette is going to work in terms of fallout. The colors for the names of the shadows are on the back of the palette of the carton and also on the back of the palette. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is what the palette looks like. It comes with this little insert that's blank and then here it is. My other question with this palette was if it was going to be brown skin friendly because other than putting like any of these first two rows on my lid or maybe a brow bone highlight, which I don't do often. I don't see myself really using them. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea which route this is gonna go, but I'm excited. So let's see how they work. All right, I decided to bring you guys in a little closer just so you can really get a good idea of how the shadows perform as I'm applying them. I do have two concealers from ColourPop. You saw me haul the Pretty Farish Hyaluronic Acid Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 125N. This is what that one looks like. But I also, from a long time ago, I fell in love with the No Filter Concealer. 
and I bought a few of them when they were on sale. This is medium dark 32. That's what this one looks like. It looks like it's a little more, it's lighter and a little more neutral. So I'm gonna use that on my lid as my primer and then I'm gonna use the other one under my eye to highlight just so you can see the difference in them both. I know that this no filter concealer is also more matte, which I definitely want for my lid. So we're gonna start there. I started to go in with an actual eye primer, but I don't know if ColourPop has one. I don't have it and I wanted to do pretty much what I normally do on a day when I'm doing my makeup anyway. So be fair to the palette and do what I normally do. And then I'm going to set that with one of the lighter shades in the palette. It's, I'm gonna go with Lux, which is this really light shade here. It's almost like a cream. The one next to it is a white. I don't know, I hope those are coming off the right colors. I'm gonna go with the cream. We're not doing a white and I'm just gonna take a bigger fluffy brush and just kind of pack that to set my lid. There is a little kick up on the pan, which isn't a big deal. A lot of eyeshadow palettes have that, but just to be transparent and let y'all know what's going on. I'm probably gonna mix this up a little bit. As you can see in the palette, it looks like this shade is mostly pinks. Then this shade is more browns. This is also kind of brownie taupe. This is more purple mauve, and then this is gray. So I'm probably just gonna pull from, I don't know, <laughs> whatever section. I'm gonna start with Stone Age, which is this shade here in our kind of pinkish row. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease. This palette does not come with a mirror, so if that bothers you, you will not have it. You can see a little bit of color payoff from that. But again, this is one of the lighter shades. All right, so we just have that color laid down. I'm gonna go in next with Obsidian. So now I'm going to the kind of mauve side here. And I'm gonna go on the same brush, but bring that a little lower. We have a cool toned eye. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's crazy because I like silver jewelry over gold jewelry, but I don't know, it's just, I always go to like oranges and reds and colors like that. So I don't even know if this is actually gonna complement my skin tone or if it's gonna look crazy. It almost looks a little gray. Not mad at it though. All right, so now I'm gonna take Dark Mama, which is the shade next to the black, and I am just going to put that in the outer V. Ooh, that's dark. I was trying to see if I could get away with not needing to use the black today, and it looks like I might be able to do that because that's dark. I'm gonna do a bit of a halo, so I'm gonna take that on the inner corner too barely dipping. For my brow bone, I'm gonna go in with Trip, which is this lighter color up here. So I'm not big on like doing a crazy brow bone highlight, but I do wanna set the concealer. Plus I feel like that is light enough for my skin tone anyway. Then I'm gonna come back with my fluffy brush and I'm gonna take Gravity Hill which is this color here, and go around the edge. How about I finish the <laughs> darker part on the other side, going back to Drama Mama, getting ahead of myself.
do y'all plan out your eyeshadow looks before you start filming or do you just wing them because i'm really bad at like i see a palette and i'm like ooh, that's pretty and then i open it and i'm like oh what do i want to do and then the next thing you know i'm all over the place because i had no idea what i wanted to do with this today other than cool tone see this is the drama mama color here which is a dark dark brown but i swear it's coming off looking gray and i mean i realize that's the undertone i guess i just expected a little more neutral okay now go to gravity hill for this side and just blend around the edge with that and that also helps blend our brow bone color I want to see what obsidian looks like. It's this mauve color here. So I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to go into obsidian and just go over where we put Drama Mama and Gravity Hill. Helps darken it up a little bit and bring a little more color as opposed to just the gray. So this is what we have so far now for our lid color I just realized my camera wasn't on so uh, I don't know what you guys I don't know what I did um okay so I took in case you didn't see any of it sediment to be on the inner on the center part of my lid and then I went on top of that with I dig it up here just in the very center and then I came back with whatever this is Genesis Genesis guy no idea but this shade here which kind of looks like a duochrome just to kind of merge the edges and then I came back with drama mama around the outside just to make sure I didn't lose that smokiness and I was saying before I realized that I wasn't recording that I think the Genus guy is a bit of a duochrome. It's really hard to see when you swatch it, but that's what that looks like. So I'm going to finish my eyes after I do the rest of my face because I always feel like my eyes look crazy without having my face done. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and not a lot of fallout not really at all so that's not bad I already primed my face with my Maybelline Masterclass this is the sorry Master Prime Face Studio Hydrate and Smooth Primer um, I used this in one of my last videos so really liked it I went in over my pores with my Tarte Smoothing Primer same thing I always do and now for foundation you've seen me use this before I absolutely love it this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation from ColourPop I did a video on this love the coverage love the way it wears so I was glad to have this to be able to wear for this makeup look I'm starting off with just one pump and I always like to take my brush and stipple first. That is starting to look a little dark on me. Somebody is losing their tan. But we have a turtleneck going, so it's all right. Oh, we okay. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more, a half a pump on my brush. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. Again, this is in the shade Medium Dark 125 Neutral. I think this is going to be, yeah, this is a little darker than what I normally wear when I'm doing a glam look but 
I'm using their powder and it is a banana powder so it will lighten this up. I've actually had this banana powder for a while when it went on sale. I'm not even lying guys, this was probably like a couple years ago I bought this. Yes, I know this stuff has a shelf life. Is this one open? This isn't even open, so shelf life starts now. But this is like super yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, it's not my favorite to wear. Y'all know I've been kind of leaning towards more neutral colors, but we'll see how it works. Because this is, I mean, it's giving me a little bit of a highlighted effect, but not as much as I normally do whenever I'm doing a full glam look. So I like the coverage on this. I'm going to go in with my sponge on top of it. Y'all know my routine already. All right, so I'm going to dump a little bit of the powder in the cap. Ooh, wee, this is yellow. Lord. Guys, that is like, I don't even know if you can see that, but that is super yellow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not my favorite anymore, but we're going to make it work. It's yellow, but it's melting in pretty well. I'm not looking too crazy. I don't know how I feel about this sponge, though. I got this sponge on sale. I think it's Walmart, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and brush this off. I don't want to bake with it because I don't know if I'm going to have flashback. But yeah, definitely gave me a brightening effect. Okay, it doesn't look as yellow as I thought it would, but that definitely cooled off some of the redness. I also have this sheer no filter press powder. Again, something else I bought a long time ago. I should have looked to see if you can even get this stuff right now because I have no idea. So I'm sorry if you can't, but there's no way I'm putting that yellow powder all over my face. And this is Hopefully it's super sheer because that is super dark. So I'm just going to take my big powder brush and just set the rest of my face. Barely dipping into that because of how dark it is. Just to take away a little bit of the shine. And then I'm going to take my smaller contour brush and I'm going to go in on the sides of my nose with this powder. I feel like I look like super sculpted, which I am not mad at. Only thing I'm worried about right now, just because it, I feel like it looks dry already, is my under eyes, but we will see how that turns out. We're going to move on to the bronzer now. I tried something like this before with the Huda Beauty, uh, what's it called, Tan Tour or whatever it is, and that just did not, I couldn't get that to work. It was too muddy and patchy so let's see what this is about it comes with this little plastic insert this is what the shade looks like 
that is a little more red than I thought it was going to be. So this may be more of a, well, it says a bronzer. So duh, Barbara. But let's see if I can make it work. I'm going to take the same contour brush I had earlier. I'm going to show y'all their brush. This brush is way too big to try to contour with. This is huge, like not doing it. But I'll use it on my forehead so you can see. Not seeing much yet. This is what the shade looks like. It is very warm. So I might have to use something else or maybe I'll be able to like put it down and then come back over it with the darker powder that I had. Let's see. Because baby, these cheekbones need help right now. Let me take the bigger brush just to show you guys how that works. I like the color of this. Definitely nice warm bronzer, which it is supposed to be. So I can't see myself ever putting something like this on my body, but I know some people do. This is definitely a bronzer. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but. Oh, it smells good. It smells like coconut. All right, just to try to darken this up to look like more of a contour, I'm going to go back with that powder that I set my face with, and I'm just going to try to pack that in on top. I know it says that it's sheer, but maybe I can build it up. I think it did a little bit. I didn't get anything else to use because I really thought this was going to be dark enough. I think that's about as dark as we're <laughs> going to be able to build this one up. So we'll make it work. All right. So this is what we have so far. I like the undertone of it. It's pretty. And then just, I've been liking to do this lately, just to take my powder brush and kind of go back every, over everything to make sure it's blended. It's not a bad product for what it's meant for, which is what I should have bought it for, but I bought it to use as like a cream contour and it is a bronzer, not a contour. So color looks okay for a bronzer, but not deep enough. I'm probably going to go back in over these cheekbones again, but <laughs> I'll do that in a little bit. All right. So for blush, I have this super shock cheek in the color strike. I've also had this forever. This is what that looks like. And it is a pearlized. So we're going to have a little bit of a glow. That is pretty. I've also had this forever for highlighter. I was going to use this, but I don't think it's available anymore. This is the Boomin Shayla Times ColourPop loose highlighter. So I'm not going to use that one. I might still use it, but I also have this Super Shock Cheek in Parasol which looks like this. We're gonna see if we can get enough of a highlight with this. It's pretty. I'm gonna take it, let me see if I do it with my finger. Yeah, that definitely amped it up some. That is very pretty. I forgot how much I like these. It's been a while. I'm just going to go back over it a little bit with the Shayla Loose highlighter. 
guys <laughs> oh i'm a hot mess bam every time does anybody else live for highlighter like i do isn't that pretty like look at this this looks like gold in a tub absolutely gorgeous all right so bottom lash line i'm just going to use drama mama and obsidian the two darker shades drama mama looks like a dark dark gray it does not look brown at all and now my eyes get red I also did not get a liner because I have liners that I like and I just did not feel like buying another one. So I'm going to finish. I didn't get a mascara. I didn't do any of that stuff. So I'm just double checking. I think I like how the eyes look right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes. I'm going to do my liner. I'm going to do my lashes. And mascara because all of that stuff I have is not color pop and then I'll come back to finish the lips and that will be it all right friggin lashes I can't oh my god I don't know if I just need more practice or what but lashes take me forever huh <sighs> all right let's move on to lips now I'm gonna use the color that I bought in this haul I do have I think one or two other colors. I know I have pitch, which is like a dark. I have a dark brown one, a dark red one, and then a lighter one. But we're just going to go ahead and use this one. Again, this is BFF3. And this is brown. A little cool tone, so it might go okay. It is a brown brown. And then I have one lippy pencil and one liquid lipstick that I bought so long ago. This is in the shade Tool, T-U-L-L-E. -L -E. Little too dark for this. And then this is Toasty, which is this kind of cream shade, which that's all we got. So let's go. I'm glad it's a bit of a nude. That is really pretty actually. I'm glad that worked out because that's all I had. <laughs> all right, this is the final look. Skin is glowing. I just, I, <laughs> my silly self would like literally talk to people like this all day. So, hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, everything's great, you know? Look at that highlight. Every single time it gets me. I hope you guys like how this look turned out. It's my first time doing a cool tone look on my channel. And I ain't even mad at it. And I'm mad at all. It looks a little purplish, maybe that's why. But it's gray. I definitely see the gray. So I like this palette. I'm definitely gonna have to play with it more. I'm still on the fence about getting the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I know the Sephora sale is going on right now, so I'm kind of tempted to get it just because then I'm like, oh, well, maybe I could compare them. But the fact that I don't wear cool tones a lot, I'm kind of like, that's wasteful. Plus, Natasha's new Trio Chrome, Trio Chrome, however you pronounce it, palette is out. I'll insert a picture right here. It's in my cart. I just, I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger yet. I don't know. So, totally off subject. Love the look. Let me know what you think, guys. Love the eyeshadow. Hopefully it lasts. I heard some people say that the colors don't last. They get a little muddy. So we will see. But right now, she is fire. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. And if you like how this look turned out and you want to see more cool tone videos, Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.